What's up everybody? It's Alex over at Boost Controlled Performance. Today we're making a video that I've wanted to do for quite some time. It's about our GTR 900 package. Now behind me, we do have a 2017 GTR. As you might've noticed, it is the facelifted model. It's an EBA. Some people find this to be the most desirable. It doesn't really matter though, because we can do this package on any of the GTR. So let's talk a little bit about what the GTR 900 package is. Why do you want it? why maybe wouldn't you want it, and what kind of performance figures it can put down. So the R35 is a very commonly upgraded car, as many of you know, and you hear about different stopping points for modifications. So it's very rare that we see one stock, uh, but the most common term that you probably hear about is an FBO car or a full bolt-on car. Now, this is a very popular stopping point for many vehicle, for many people on this platform, because it offers a perfect balance of performance and cost. So let's talk a little bit about what performance numbers look like on an FBO car. The one behind us will baseline at about 500 wheel horsepower and about 475 pound-feet of torque on our dyno. At full bolt-on power levels, we can expect to see about 600 wheel horsepower and 600 wheel torque on 93 fuel and up to 660 wheel horsepower and 650 wheel torque on E85. So a pretty significant gain there. We're talking about 150 horsepower. You can hop in this thing and do anything with it at that level, drive it across the country, have a blast. It's a good, good package to have. That would be our 700 package from BCP. Now, something happens within most GTR owners where they drive the car at full bolt-on level for a while and suddenly they say, hey Alex, I need a little bit more, just a little bit more. So that's when we have the discussion about the GTR 900 package and that's why recently it has become probably the most popular package that we have because most people already know what that full bolt-on power level feels like and what they're gonna be expecting from the next step up. So what do we do with a 900 package? What's different? It still uses a completely stock engine and a completely stock transmission. And the reason we're able to do this is because it maintains the same torque level as a full bolt-on car. That number is usually around 650 pound-feet of torque on our dyno jet back here. And that's what keeps these components safe. Everybody always asks us, is it safe for a stock engine? And then you'll hear people say things like, well, 800 horsepower is too much, or 850 is too much. When we're talking about the safety of the stock engine, we're typically not talking about horsepower, because horsepower is a function of torque and RPM. What we're really focused on is torque, because that's what impacts cylinder pressure, and that's what impacts the strongest forces on things like the clutch and the transmission. So at 650 wheel torque, you don't hear anybody really complaining about a full bolt-on car. Nobody is saying that a full bolt-on car is unreliable because it makes 650 wheel torque. So why would anybody say that about a 900 package? Well, that's the point that we're trying to make. What we do is we take that torque curve from a stock turbo car where it makes 650 and then it tapers off very hard at redline. And with this 900 package, what we do is we make that torque curve flat. So instead of nosing over at higher RPM, it just holds 650 flat. Still the same torque limit, still same cylinder pressure levels, but it offers way more power at redline. How much power exactly? Let's talk about that. We talked about a full bolt-on car making about 650 wheel horsepower on E85. Our 900 package, let's add 200 horsepower to that. Yes. That is the difference between holding torque all the way to redline and letting it fall off on stock turbochargers. So the key attribute to being able to do that is the upgraded turbochargers that we put in this package. Now, we use a couple different turbochargers from a couple different manufacturers depending on someone's end goals and budget. Sometimes we go with a little bit larger of a unit that someone can grow into. Sometimes we use a little bit smaller of a unit. But either way, all of them will make at least 800 wheel horsepower. Aside from the turbochargers, there aren't too many components that we're changing. We are making some adjustments to the fuel system, and we are making some adjustments to the intake system and the intercooling system in some cases. But if you pop the hood of this car, or you look at it, or you stand around it, 
Other than that badge on the side of it that tells you what it is, if you're kind enough to let us put that on the car, nobody's really going to know what you have going on. It still kind of looks and sounds and feels like a full bolt-on car until you're inside it and you floor it or you wind up next to it and you end up watching the taillights drive away. So speaking of taillights driving away, let's talk a little bit about performance figures. First, let's talk draggy times. For those of you who don't know what a draggy is, the draggy is an ultra high resolution performance meter that we use to measure the performance of a vehicle while not being at a racetrack. It's an incredibly cost effective and convenient way to measure the performance of your car without being at a racetrack. For the draggy times on a stock GTR, they aren't too overwhelming. We're gonna use 60 to 130 as a variable to look at the acceleration of this car. 60 to 130 is a commonly used metric to measure how quick a car accelerates from a roll. It eliminates any variables like wheel slip and driver ability to launch the car and gives us more of a realistic figure of how much power the car is making and how well it accelerates. A stock GTR is typically going to be somewhere in the mid to high 8 second range 60 to 130. Still very quick, quicker than 95% of the cars on the road, maybe more than that. But not overly fast by the performance industry standards. Let's talk about the full bolt on 60 to 130 time. Typically in good conditions, we're seeing about 6.7 to 6.8 seconds, 60 to 130. 60. 130. That's a significant improvement. We're talking about almost two seconds. Let's talk about what we see with the GTR 900. On certain setups, we've seen the low to mid fives, 60 to 130 time. 30. 60. 130. Now keep in mind, the faster you get, the harder it is to shave time down. The difference of one second going from 5.5 five to 4.5 feels a lot faster than the difference of one second from going, say, 8.5 to 7.5. So what we're essentially doing here is we're taking a stock car at an 8.5, roughly, and bringing it down to a 5.5, roughly, which is a three-second improvement. It may not sound like a lot, but it is a remarkable difference. Let's talk about quarter-mile performance. And this would be figures on a 20-inch wheel and tire package like we typically see on one of these cars. We're not talking about a drag pack or an 18 or something like that. We're typically going to see on a stock car, low 11s, high 10s, depending on what generation stock car you have. They have different tunes from the factory. So if we're seeing high 10s or low 11s at about 122 miles an hour on a stock car, that's very good for a completely stock car. Don't get me wrong. That's, that's, that's a fun car to drive. But if we go full bolt on, now we're going to see in the much lower 10s. And if we're running E85 fuel, usually around 135 miles an hour, with the 900 package, the one that we're talking about right here, we have seen the same exact package go 980s on a 20-inch wheel and tire, 980s at over 140 miles an hour. impressive for stock engine and transmission. Just wanted to cover the fuel required because I know we do have some clients that ship their cars in from the west coast or areas where they don't have access to good quality fuel. We even have some clients overseas in Europe and Asia. So something to point out here is we can tailor this package to whatever fuel you're running. Our advertised numbers on gasoline are on 93 and our numbers on ethanol are on E70 or higher. Now, I know I did forget to mention the 93 numbers, but most people are focused on E85. 
This package on 93, we're still able to typically make over 750 wheel horsepower. If you do need to run 91 octane, that's fine. We can tailor the tune for it, but we don't recommend pushing this package very hard unless you have a higher octane fuel. Even a mild ethanol blend of say E40, E50 is a fantastic improvement over basic gasoline. Let's cover reliability real quick. How reliable is the GTR 900 package? Well, as I mentioned before, because we're working within a torque limit, which we see a stock turbo car at, which is 650, and is a widely accepted limit industry-wide, this is a very reliable package. Especially when combined with our tuning and a proper quality fuel like E85, there's really nothing more to worry about from a reliability standpoint on a 900 package over a full bolt-on package. We see many of our clients running this package without any issues, and we've actually seen some of them making upwards of 870 wheel horsepower that drove like that for a while and then decided to go with a full build. And when their engine was taken apart, everything looked fine. No bent rods, no scoring on the cylinder walls, no signs of foul play or excessive cylinder pressure. And the reason why is because we tune this with everything that we just talked about in mind. We want your car to last. We want to give you the most performance benefit we can, but we still want to keep it within a reasonable range. And that is the tuning methodology we use here. We do have a client every once in a while that says, give me the moon tune. Let me see if I can break this thing. And if you're one of those people, we can still have that discussion. So I hope that told you guys a little bit more about what's involved with our 900 package. We tried to cover everything. If you have any more questions about it, leave us a comment. Or if you have maybe more detailed inquiry or maybe you want to talk to us about getting this package done, go ahead and follow that link down in the description below where you can get in touch with us. Once again, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. And let us know what you'd like to see next time in the comments. I'm Alex with Boost Controlled Performance. We'll see you next time. See if anybody asks any more questions. I mean, the question about attracting girls is kind of funny, but like, I don't think anybody actually cares that much.